I think that Donald Trump is going to come into uh, his relationship, both with the conflict that is happening in the Middle East, as well as the one with Russia and Ukraine, from a sense of neutrality, from having hopefully earned the trust of all leaders on both sides of the negotiating table, and they can sit down and they can have an honest discussion about how both come out of this and bring peace to the region. I think that is actually what both sides ultimately wish. I think at this point, considering it's been a year long war uh, regarding Israel and it's been now we're going on almost year three with the Ukraine crisis. I think right now for the people, what the people want in, across the world is to have peace, but they want to make sure that this is long lasting peace and this is something that can be a, a solution, not just short term, but for the future. When Trump says that there is going to be peace worked out within his department and that he wants his department, unlike this current administration, to de-escalate the situation, to not encourage uh, the, the war, uh, I guarantee that is what is going to be obeyed upon. And I think that is going to be absolutely crucial, um, if not from the first day he's inaugurated, if it's not already in the process currently. I think Iran would benefit best by focusing on Iran. I think Iran's leadership within their own country right now um, while they might like external, you know, help and external, I think Iran has enough issues within its own city, with own, its own economy, with its own business development, that it should be focusing on itself. I think Iran is getting pulled into all of these other, um, all these other conflicts, all of these other interests outside of its borders that do not benefit Iran. And I think Iran needs to recognize that some countries might be using them to be the bad guys, um, because that's the easy thing to do. I mean, every everybody likes a villain. And I feel like in this case, Iran even might be by some of its uh, brother and sister countries might be being used to be the villain. But at this point, I think, you know, Iran has a lot of power, uh, nuclear power within itself. I think it does not need to continue to be this fear, uh, this fear beast. But that doesn't mean that it needs to be placated or paid off. I think Iran needs to focus on itself. And I think, like I said, the reason why all these other countries are getting involved in this conflict is they feel like Israel is backed up by the West. And, and yes, Israel is a strong ally. The United States is a strong ally to Israel. But that doesn't mean that we're going to turn a blind eye when 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 peace is not being sought and actions are being done that don't necessarily um, do well for the people and people are getting hurt because of them. So I think what you're going to see, hopefully Iran will focus on itself. And I think the more that the West and this administration policy pulls out, I think everybody um, will will mainly focus on their own countries and making their own countries uh, great within their borders, rather than focus on the others. I am not a fan of sanctions, to be honest with you, because what I have learned is sanctions, uh, do, and this is not just within the Middle East, but sanctions do not actually hurt the bureaucrats, do not hurt the governments, they hurt the people, is what sanctions do. Um, and in this case, sanctions have been used in Iran to create disruption, to create turmoil. Obviously, when people can't eat, they get angry at their government. Um, I think this is a definitely a very careful uh, situation that Donald Trump's going to have to go in. It has changed in the last four years. Unfortunately, the Biden-Harris administration has made it worse. Um, not knowing everything about where those changes are, um, I think that Donald Trump, and I think he is very much open to it. He is not afraid of any world leader as this administration has been, he is not afraid to sit down at a table and talk to them and to say, what is it going to take for your country to find peace and to find economic stability and to make this world a better place? I think that's Donald Trump's ultimate goal. He is a businessman. War for him, unlike other politicians, is not a good business. It is not good business for him. So I think that he will, I think he is going to address the situation once we learn exactly how things have changed. A lot of transparency is going on in the United States right now. We're bringing a lot of things to light. And I think uh, how our foreign policy, I think a lot of things have been buried the last four years. So to make a correct assessment of it, I think he's going to have to be brought up to speed on what changes have been made and what things need to be fixed within Iran before he can actually make any official policy or statement.